What's up, everybody? This is Will, and Will powers astrology. Will powers astrology. It is my astrology. Mine. <laughs> okay. Um, today we're talking about the North Node in Scorpio. So we've we finished already half the series. Currently, the North Node is in Taurus. It's August of 2022. Um, I'll fix my little bun here. Okay. Uh, and now we're getting into the second half of the series on our way back around to Taurus. So the North Node is where the moon's orbit crosses the path of the Earth's orbit around the sun. So the Earth is going around the sun like this, the moon is going around like this, and the, the nodes are where the, it crosses. So blue crosses in front, north node, crosses behind, south node. And these are always gonna be always opposite each other, and the direction of the nodes goes backwards. It's, it's a constant retrograde motion. Sometimes there's a little wobble in there because uh, the, the Earth's orbit and the Moon's orbit sometimes are a little bit inconsistent. There's some wobbling. So for a day or two, it might go forward, it might go direct, uh, but most of the time it is going retrograde. And so that's why the nodes go backwards. So that's why we're going in that order. So now, woo, North Node in Scorpio. Here we go. So first of all, the, the meaning of the nodes has to do with kind of our karma in this life, kind of the, the overall trajectory of the of what we're here to experience and uh, kind of get away from, from past incarnations or past lives. So the idea that we come into this life with the energy that we had from, the, from our previous past life or that we're coming, you know, some, some people are saying that the planets that are on your points in your chart describe like the alien planet that you came from. Uh, whatever the thing is, wherever you're coming to this planet and this incarnation from before, you're bringing the energy of your south node with you. The south node is the comfort zone. It's kind of what we already know. It's our, it's kind of our predilection. I think of it as kind of our early superpowers. It's like what we, the energy that we're familiar with, that we groove with. But then as we're in this incarnation, we're here to get away from that and to move towards the energy of the north node. So the energy of the North Node feels foreign to us. It feels kind of scary. It feels like we're unsure of what to do because we're so used to operating from that South Node perspective that we're here to learn the complete other thing in this life and to master the qualities of the North Node. So in order to do that, you have to... Our South Node often is um, kind of our... It's like our bad traits. So the qualities of the South Node we often wallow or linger in the lower vibration, you know, the, the petty emotions of that sign, whatever. And then what we're here to do is to cultivate the higher expression of that energy, master it. And then once we master that, then we can go into the North Node. And then once we master that, then we get that fulfillment and accomplishment that we're looking for overall, right? So as your life goes on, uh, you'll probably step into your North Node around the time that your Saturn return happens, around the time that you're 30. Um, you know, obviously it could be uh, expressing itself before that, but I think that a lot of times we're not mentally that aware of the energy until we step into our adult selves, until we step into our adult realm. Um, and a lot of times that's not until your 30s. Like, at this point in time, especially with the millennials, like millennials being constantly infantilized, like the 20s is basically just a second version of the teens. You know what I mean? And the way that even the kids now are getting treated and will get treated, um, I feel like we just really won't be stepping into these energies until we're much older. Anyway, bloop, North Node in Scorpio. So let's start off with the dates. You have the North Node in Scorpio Oh, first, the one coming up is going to be March of 31 to December of 32. So we got another 10 years until we're dealing with this energy. Um, the last time we had this energy was August 29th of 2012 to February 18th of 2014. So about end of 12 to beginning of 14, that whole 2000, that year was crazy for me. 2013 was nuts. So, um... I'm a millennial, I have Pluto and Scorpio, so a lot of changes happened in my life at that time. I had to embody a lot of change. There was a lot of um, good and bad changes that happened for me personally. So if you're born from August 29th of 12 to February 18th of 14, you have the North Node in Scorpio. I'm reading out of my little, you know, my little notes that I made here, um, out of my ephemeris. Uh, if you, so the millennial placement of this sign 
we don't have a Gen Z placement. Gen Zs don't have this energy, right? Um, the kids that are younger than Gen Z, the Gen Alphas, the Pluto and Capricorns, they will have this energy of change, but it's uh, the Gen Zs don't have this energy. Uh, so the millennial placement is uh, February, no, 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 January 31st of 1994 to July 31st of 1995. So it's those very late millennials with the Pluto and Scorpio energy that have North Node and Scorpio energy, right? Uh, we kicked off the millennials with North Node and Taurus, and then it got halfway through, and the last of the millennials are uh, North Node and Scorpio. So the boomer, or no, 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 blah, 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 the Gen X placement of this is July 9th of 1975 to January 7th of 1977. So if you're born in that date range as a Gen Xer, this is, this is you. Um, the baby boomer placement of this is October 4th of 1956 to June 16th of 1958. So if you're a baby boomer between those dates, this video is for you. Uh, going back further, March 3rd of 1938 to September 11th of 1939. And then going back even further, August 15th of, two, of nine, 2000, August 15th of 1919 to February 7th of 1921. And then going back even further at the top of the 20th century, January 20th of 1901 to uh, July 20th of 1902. I'm like, what do these numbers mean? Um, all right, so let's start it off. I'm, I'm, I'm just going to be checking my time. I think I've done a very long intro on this. Um, let's start off. We have the south node in Taurus. So what does that mean? So we're going to be accustomed to Taurus energy. And what does that mean? Taurus is associated with the second house of worth and value. It's the first earth sign. It's a fixed sign. So it's like a concentrated energy. It brings energy inward. Um, I think of like, like that expression, the rolling stone gathers no moss. Taurus is the opposite of that. Taurus wants to sit and gather moss. Taurus wants to sit and get money. Taurus wants to sit and be admired okay so taurus the its animal totem is actually the bull or the calf so in ancient sea times when you know like in the biblical stories um when this is actually uh, this is actually kind of applicable to this in the ancient times when you had the law of moses uh and moses struck down the golden calf that was actually astrologically we were going from the sign of Taurus to the sign of Aries um, in the in a different phase in a different way, but the, it's that energy of going. Oh, look up the procession of the equinoxes. This is when the procession of the equinoxes went from Taurus backwards into Aries, we went from the golden calf to the to the ram to the Moses ram, um, and that's the that's a uh, bloop. That's the energy is the golden calf. People with Taurus energy. Uh, they're kind of just the golden, the golden calf. They get put up on a, on a, on a, on a litter and they get carried around and they go from place to place being the honored guest. People with Taurus energy just kind of like to, I like to go to this party and everybody says how great I am. And then I go to this party and everybody says how great I am, but you can't come to my house though. <laughs> um, Taurus. So it has to do with self-worth, self-value, it has to do with money and possessions Taurus in the second house is I have and this like so to me on a on a lower vibration level this is the, this is the sign of gimme gimme that's mine that's mm, that, you know what I mean I'm not gonna share because it's mine why would I give you any props because this shit is mine um, so people operating with south node Taurus I think are gonna have problems or lessons early on in their life when it comes to just sharing this could be from being an only child. It could be from maybe as a kid with the north with with the south node in Taurus. Maybe you didn't have those material possessions. So now you're you're learning to be like, that's mine, but I'll let you try it. I'll let you play with it. That that kind of energy. It also could be that self-esteem is overdeveloped. Okay, there could be this moment of people with the south node in Taurus think of themselves so highly that they disregard other people. Um, they disregard the value that other people have and they disregard the value that other people could bring them because they're sitting there going, I'm too good for that. They're not paying me enough. 
well, I know I'm awesome, but what are you bringing to the table? It's like, if you, if you just let go of that clenched fist of like, oh, it's mine, it's mine. And we went, you know what, why don't you try it? Because then you could give away and then you could receive more. You could receive more than what you had on your own, okay? Uh, so what else? If you have the South Node in Taurus, I feel like you have a really hard time uh, grasping that other people have a viewpoint. And this is going to be the same thing with the next video. Um, when it comes to Libra, North Node in Libra, it's really hard to grasp that you need to give of yourself because you're used to taking in your past incarnations. That's mine. That's mine. One for me. Another one for me. Here's for me. Here's for me and none for Gretchen Wieners. Okay. In a past life, you were here to learn how to provide for your own. You were here to learn how to make your own money, to pay your own bills, to start your own thing, to grow your own garden. You know what I mean? It was very you centric in this past life, in this past incarnation. People with a lot of Taurus energy, I feel like tend to have like tunnel vision. They really, it's not that they're, I'm not, let me refine this. It's not that they're inconsiderate. I think there's a lot of other placements that are a lot more purposefully like, fuck you, I, I do what I want. Um, but people that operate under a lot of Taurus energy, they really don't see anything except for their little pasture. They're just munching. You know what I mean? They don't see anything that's going on around them. They're like, what people? It's not that they're disregarding you. It's that you don't even factor into their world. Like that's, they're, they're so like, like they don't care about you. It's not that they are disrespecting you. It's that they don't even know you exist. It's, it's very that energy. So how do we do this? What do we do? So they're looking for value. They're looking for things that say, I have this value. And so what they are here to learn in this life is this Scorpio energy of uh, letting go, of releasing, of uh, discarding. Because if Taurus is accumulation, Taurus has to do with eating. And then the opposite sign of Scorpio, which we're here to learn how to do, has to do with expelling. Okay, it has to do with, I'm going to eat all this lovely food in Taurus. And then in Scorpio, I'm shitting this out. This stuff has got to come out of my body. We've got to filter out the toxins. We've got to filter out the shit. We got to, you know, if your if your body just kept pooping you, you would just explode and die of toxic shock. So people that don't know how to operate in a Scorpio energy, I feel like, have a hard time letting go of things. In fact, there's there's yeah. Anyways, I'm not I'm not going to bring somebody specific into this general video. However, people that need to learn Scorpio energy. Uh, Probably maybe a little bit of hoarders. You know what I mean? Probably they're a little bit like label chasers. They really want the, they want to look good. They want to look cute. They want to, because it's that value that adds to their, to their image, to their being, to whatever. It makes them feel good. But what you're here to learn in this incarnation is how to give of yourself. And that's going to be the hardest lesson. So let's talk about moving into this, the North Node. So Scorpio Scorpio is associated with the eighth house, which has to do with all of, instead of accumulating, acquiring, you know, eating, possessing, we are releasing, we're letting go, we're getting rid of shit, we're shitting out the haters and ingesting positivity, okay? Um, and the big thing that it has to do with Scorpio, Scorpio is about the cycles of like death and rebirth. Scorpio ultimately has to do with transformation because if we're just sitting here and acquiring, acquiring, mine, mine, and that's your whole focus is you're just like me, me, mine, mine, um, then people aren't going to like you. People aren't going to give you that value that you want. But if you take that value that you know you have and you give emotionally, you're open to, you're open to it. Instead of holding on to stuff, you say, here you go. And then they could come take it. And now you're free to either join forces, which is what Scorpio is all about. It's not just about me. It's about us. And it's not just about Libra. Let me balance the scales. It's about joint merging. This is like two become one. This is, so Scorpio has to, is associated with like the sex act. It's a, uh, Scorpio rules the genitals and uh the anus you know your your releasing functions um i'm trying to i'm trying to like really get into this 
Scorpio, like Taurus is simple. Taurus is, I made a brick. Here's a brick. Scorpio is, I smashed that brick. Scorpio is the element of destruction is the first act of creation. So in, in Scorpio is scary because we have to let go. We have to release. We have to destroy what we think is that value by giving it away, right? And then we merge with other people. And then through that merging, that's where we can now absorb more value. That's where we can now feed other people with the value that we know we have, right? So Scorpio is about ch changes, transformations. I think for people with this sign, learning that life comes in cycles and that life just is a long continuation of births and redeaths and births and redeaths and births and redeaths and births and redeaths. Re it's just a, a never ending cycle of changes. So I think letting go of the past is going to be really hard for people in this sign. Uh, letting go of prejudgments of things and like allowing people the freedom to make their own decisions so that you can make these choices together, if that makes sense. So Scorpio is a water sign. It's the same, again, like it's, like Taurus, it's the fixed water sign. Taurus is fixed earth. Uh, Scorpio is fixed water. So it's an intense concentration or like, like personal magnetism of water energy or emotional energy. So I think for people in this sign, they're, you're going to, you're going to want to see things in terms of like charts and lists. Here's what I bring to the table. Here's what you bring to the table. Let's look at it. But Scorpio is about a deep, like from your balls, from your pussy, like, oh, you know what I mean? Like it's a deep primal feelings and merging. It's sexual. It's a uh, psycho. It's psychological. It's like, you know, in order to become one, we have to literally die. That's, that's part of this metaphor. In order for this new merging of people, we have to have this deep emotional connection that allows us to literally die. When you enter the relationship with your long-term partner and spouse, you single you is now dead. So let's say you now you for the rest of your life you're bonded and deeply with and this could be, you know, your spouse, your partner, uh, business partners, people that you share finances with because Taurus is about accumulating but Scorpio is about sharing. In order to share, you have to let go. Is is this is this landing? So um you have to you have to literally go through deaths in order to become the new person that you were meant to be. So I was saying that the North Node in Taurus, which is the opposite of this, that we started this series out with that we're dealing with right now. The North Node in Taurus, I think, is harder and it's lonelier. But I think that this placement is the scariest, is is the most heart pounding. Like all the North nodes are, are scary in their own way. I don't know what to do. I don't know which, how to focus my energy. I don't know what choices to make, but this is the one that is the scariest because it has the least amount to do with your choices. If it has to do with your choices, it's choosing the right people. It's choosing to trust the, your energy with the right people in the right way. Um, but ultimately it has to do with the other people that you're merging with. You have to, you know, you have to completely give up of yourself and say, I trust you. And now what happens if they let go of you? What happens if they don't want to change with you? What happens if they decide that you ain't the one? It's, it's very that like, so it's going to be up. It's going to be up to the choices that you make in terms of bonding with people, in terms of how you invest your emotional energy. It's going to be scary to be vulnerable. It's going to be scary. You're going to, this is an intensely emotional, like kind of life path. And you're going to be scared and daunted of those intense emotions. But this is your path that you have to walk. It's time to get away from stagnation and to get into the changes. It's time to get away from comfortability and switch it up a little bit. You got you to gotta trust the chaos a little bit. This path is going to feel like you're constantly like burning away old bridges and starting new things. Because you are. You're here to learn that you aren't all of that and a bag of chips by yourself. You need to learn these deep emotional, sexy fucking you like uh, trysts or, uh, you know, I wouldn't recommend if, you, if you're in a workplace situation using your kind of sexual magnetism because you do have that. You're gonna find that out in your life. 
Scorpio ruling that North Node, that you have a magnetism about you. You know what I mean? And how do you want that to be used? Because people could just say, oh, you're sexy and just go, mm, I'm going to fuck you and steal your energy from you. You know what I'm saying? So how do you want to share your energy? Is your energy sharing going to build yourself up and build the other person up so that now, paradoxically, you thought you were giving away your energy, but you're actually building your energy up and building a new world and making changes of the things around you. So, you know what I mean? I would say probably don't <laughs> get involved in some sexual thing in your workplace. Um, I'd probably stay away from that because... That's probably people wanting to take energy from you. You know what I mean? But knowing that you have that energy and that, that feeling of self-worth that comes from that north node of Taurus, now you can go, what do I have to offer? There's nothing that you can take from me because my worth is my own. So here's what I'm offering with an open heart, if that makes sense. So I think it's really scary to constantly trust, like letting go, to constantly trust a, 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 a thing where you're you're not really here to like, they have these strong roots because they're good. every time if you try to stay rooted in one place too long, those roots are going to rot. The soil is not going to sustain you staying in one place. And also, you're here to fuck shit up. Scorpio energy is about changes. If, if we just stayed stagnant, nothing would ever evolve, nothing would ever progress. So this is a scary energy and it's probably more combative than what you're used to. But Scorpio is traditionally ruled by Mars and contemporaneously ruled by Pluto, co-ruled by Pluto. So there is like a, to this sign. Whereas Aries ruled by Mars is more like, I'm going to fight you. I'm going to openly be aggressive. I'm going to be like, da, 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 da. Scorpio is about the underworld. I'm not going to show you my intentions. If, if we're going to be battling, I'm going to, I'm just look placid and look calm. And then I'm going to be like that dead eye scorpion. I'm going to magnetize you in my bullshit and go Zzz. because that's what it, that's what Scorpio ultimately longs to do is kind of uh, um, paralyze the people they love around them with their love you know what I mean <laughs> you want they want to make people dependent on that kind of sexy love they have to give so in order to find this fulfillment and worth that you're looking for it's going to come from making bad choices, making wrong choices, making scary choices until you can trust the energy of your life enough to know that you're on the right path. That's a really weird dichotomy, but it's like once once you start merging energies with other people, once you start seeing that not only do they have something to add to you, but you have something to add to the world. It's not about you keeping everything to yourself. You know what I mean? It's about you sharing what you have. Um, and that is medicine for people like that's going to be and it's medicine for you to learn these kinds of boundaries. You know what I mean? It's your boundaries are so locked that you can't see the forest for the trees. It's up to you to open up your boundaries a little bit. And then paradoxically, once you do that, the money is going to come in. The value is going to come in. The people are going to come in to reaffirm that. But it's only once you're giving of yourself and trusting the cycles and changes of your life. Cause you're, I think more than any other sign is gonna have a lot of different lifetimes to lead. The people that have North Node Scorpio have many different lifetimes. They're, they're gonna, high school, that's one life. College, that's a different life. Your first five years of being a professional, that's a different life. Your life, 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 life. You're gonna change more than anybody else in the Zodiac, but you're here to show us how to change. You're here to show us that we need to change and that we can't accept this old shit and that we need to be bringing our value out to the world. So anyways, yeah, that's your North Node in Scorpio. Bloop.